think there are a number of different factors that are coming into play, which are now making the end-to-end -end supply chain in healthcare a far more important topic and one that is uh, requiring companies at all parts of the value chain to really rethink the way that they're working in order to meet demands um, of kind of the current landscape. There's increasing uh, recognition that with the increasing complexity of global supply chains, different parts of products made and packaged in lots of different places around the world, uh, lots more external manufacturing than ever before, that the old way of ensuring product safety through a global supply chain uh, was really no longer adequate. So we looked at a pretty holistic way of thinking about all the different dimensions in which a more effective supply chain might impact the economics of the various players. Could the impact be on inventory improvement and on improved service levels and therefore reduced um, revenue losses from poor service? What the cost of uh, regulatory uh, uh, challenges were that were associated with quality issues in the supply chain? And we looked at the uh, cost of uh, patient safety incidents and the, uh, the, the cost associated with that. And what we found is that uh, for each of the players in the value chain, you can see a 10 to 20 percent improvement opportunity and profitability um, if the end-to-end -end supply chain were to optimize. The healthcare supply chain has um, typically been structured to really focus on uh, product supply and product supply reliability, which continues to be the most important objective of a healthcare supply chain. But if you look at fast-moving consumer goods or some other supply chains, um, you'll see that they have been designed uh, for far more flexibility and much greater speed than the healthcare supply chains have typically been. They operate more end-to-end, -end, from the supplier to the manufacturer to distributors to retailers, et cetera, um, and that the optimization is done end to end. And that collaboration may mean uh, partnering around uh, reducing joint costs or improving security and safety jointly, um, but the partnering also can mean just a sharing of information, creating information visibility end to end. Um, if you're a manufacturer and you know what the end demand really is um, for your product uh, and you plan for that end demand, you typically have a much smoother kind of production cycle and you can actually ensure that you're making the right products at the right time in order to meet that demand. But if instead you don't know what the end demand is and you only have kind of your most immediate partners uh, uh, orders um, in order history, um, there's a lot of complexity that's introduced around the dynamics of the whole supply chain in terms of uh, pricing changes and different amounts of inventory being held in different parts of the value chain. Um, so there's an opportunity if we could create more transparency to the total supply chain and really have every player operating uh, against really what the ultimate customer need is. We've seen that happen in other industries. So we've seen, for example, the introdu introduction of barcodes in consumer goods uh, has had a um, just a dramatic impact on the way that the supply chain works uh, because there's now a transparency to end customer demand and the ability to kind of plan for that and um, align each part of the value chain to the end customer demand. But in order to get that, everybody has to be able to speak the same language and interpret data the same way. And so with global standards um, in uh, consumer have been absolutely critical to making that happen so that everybody's using and, and cataloging data the same way. Um, and the same um, uh, is emerging in healthcare and needs to emerge in order to uh, facilitate and enable the same kind of uh, transparency in healthcare. One of the things that we found in our research was um, we suspected that uh, the manufacturers would be the one who would gain the most from this and that while we thought the benefits would apply certainly to the end-to-end -end supply chain, we were worried that maybe we would not see the benefits uh, accrue to the retailers and hospitals and therefore we thought that there might not be an economic incentive for them to invest in standards and in this kind of collaboration. But in fact we found the opposite. We found that in the examples where where um, hospitals and retailers have worked with manufacturers to pilot the use of standards, there actually have been quite tangible uh, benefits to the retailers and hospitals with clear ROI.